Uh, this problem, in this problem, we introduce the concept of Cantor Ben Dixon de derivative of a set and some of basic properties of this set. Okay, so we have A, which is a subset of R, and we defined a prime to be the set of accumulation points of A. Okay, so uh, first of all, we want to show that. Uh, a prime is closed. So we assume, without loss of generality, we assume that A prime is not empty. Okay? Because empty set is closed anyway. So let uh, Xn be sequence in A prime such that limit xn is equal to x and we want to show that x belongs to a prime. In other words, if you have a limit of accumulation point of a, then the limit is also an accumulation point of a. Okay? So, <clears throat> what do we want to show? We want to show that for every epsilon, we want to show that a intersects x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, okay, has a point other than x, okay, which is by the way equivalent to, to say that you have infinitely many points. So has a point different from x, okay. Now since x is the limit of xn when n goes to infinity, what we are going to do, we're going to go a little bit inside x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, and we will find some xn there. So let us take, so we take, just to give a picture, huh? so we have x, x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon. So what we are going to do we're going to take x minus epsilon over 3, x plus epsilon over 3. So we know that there exists an n0 such that x n0 belongs to x minus epsilon over 3, x plus epsilon over 3. Okay? And now since x n0 belongs to a prime, now what we are going to consider is a intersects x n0 minus epsilon over 3, x n0 plus epsilon over 3. Okay? So this set has uh, many elements, infinitely many elements. Okay? So it's infinite. Has okay, many elements. Okay? This is very important because we want to show that there exists at least some that is uh, different from x, but uh, we'll come back at the end as a remark to show that in fact that this set is uh, is infinite. In fact, many element. In fact, it is infinite. Okay. Now note that A uh, intersects this neighborhood. is included in A intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon. This is something that I leave it to uh, whoever is following this lecture or this solution. It's very easy to show. And this tells me what? That A intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon is infinite. Okay. By the way, uh, so remark, let us go back, because we use this. This, of course, will prove what we wanted. But let us make uh, x is an accumulation point of A if and only if, for every epsilon, A intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon is infinite. Obviously, 
if the intersection is infinite for every epsilon, then x is an accumulation point. What we want to show is that if x is an accumulation point, so what is the definition of x is an accumulation point again? Okay, it depends on the books. Accumulation point of A, if and only if for every epsilon, uh, A intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon contains a point different from x. Okay, so uh, assume that this is finite. Huh? So assume that A intersect x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon is finite. So what do we have? Here it is. We have x, okay, and you have this point from, okay, A and it's finite, okay? And you have at least one of them which is different from x. So what you do, you consider the closest point, okay? And you take this neighborhood. So what happened? In that neighborhood, in this neighborhood, you're not gonna find anything, okay? Different from x there, okay? And this will give you a contradiction. So let us now write it. So we said delta, is equal to the minimum of x minus a, a in a, uh, a in x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, and a different from x. So we know that there is at least one, okay, that's the definition of accumulation point, and if it is finite, then we have a minimum, we don't have an nth. This will be what? Positive, because of our assumption the finite assumption. Okay? So now if you take x, a, uh, a intersect x minus delta, x plus delta, this set has no element different from x and this is our contradiction in particular okay in particular since that intersection of the neighborhood is infinite this will imply that a is infinite so if you have an accumulation point the set is infinite